Hi everybody. Welcome. Why golf swing is so difficult? Surprisingly, this difficulty mostly created by our own brain. Especially for the adult golfers, brain automatically start thinking what is going to be done and how it is to be done, even if you don't want to think beforehand and send orders to your muscles and nervous system as to how to be done, whether you are aware or not. This is crucial. So you have to understand what's going on, at least to some degree, how the golf ball is to be hit to the target. For the children, since they start learning naturally, not conceptually, their brains are not yet started sending commands automatically to their associated muscles and nervous system. But in adults, it is different. Brain gets in the way of your intentions, if you are aware or not. You are intending to hit the ball to the target. In the daily life, we are doing nothing similar to the hitting the golf ball. Your brain doesn't know what's going on. But even if it doesn't know what's going on, your brain will automatically start thinking the image of what is to be done about the intended shot. There is a ball here. You are intending to hit the ball to the target. You have to hit the ball and your the club head and the ball will start going together to the target parallel for some couple of feet. That's the normal daily logic of thinking, imagining, hitting mechanisms of golf ball like that. After hitting the ball, club head and the ball goes together to our target. This is the normal daily logic of hitting golf ball, which is totally and absolutely untrue, false, wrong. That sort of automatic logic of your brain will distract your intentions altogether. Therefore, you have to understand the real mechanism so that you are able to keep your brain from distracting. You will get free of your brain's images. You have to generate a counter-argument to neutralize this false, untrue, true, automatic argument of your brain. What is it? What is the real, genuine mechanism of hitting golf ball? In reality, club head and the ball travel together after impact only that much couple of inches, two or three inches, this much, and club head turns left. Golf ball continues to go to the target. The higher the speed you hit the ball with the club head, the better you are able to send the ball to the target. Because with a very limited fraction of a second, club head and golf ball moves together two or three inches moves together, the higher the speed of the club head hitting the ball, the better your ball goes to the target. Therefore, you, you have to generate as much speed as you can at the impact, first of all. What brain normally thinks, this, this sort of pendulum motion, you hit the ball, in a vertical position, and you move this vertically in order for your club head and the ball travel together after the impact. You have to hit the ball in a vertical position, that position. But it's not fit for your intention because you cannot create enough speed for the ball to water the target in a vertical position. You have to forget about this vertical force. Since you are intending to generate higher and higher speed at the impact, you have to hit the ball on an inclined, inclined plane. Like this. You have to find a way of hitting on an inclined plane with as much speed 
as possible. This is the basis of eliminating the main difficulty in the culture. And this difficulty accounts for the majority of the issues you have faced. Unbelievable, maybe, but it is the truth. You have to learn the natural learning. You have to be eliminating the wrong, untrue, conceptual arguments of your mind.